Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. I haven't done a product review in a while and I wanted to come on here today and do one on the Spice, Spice Bot solar powered case with the extended battery magnetic mount USB battery pack. So, and this is for the Optimus Prime Spy Tech. So let me get out the package I received. I ordered this on Amazon. I do want to point out that this product is uh here it is i want to point out that the product is sponsored the product was given to me uh as a gift to do a review on uh the review will be accurate but the review the product is not something that i purchased myself so i just want to be upfront about that and i will put the link in the description uh it is in the amazon affiliate link um but that will be in the description so i'm going to put this review into three different parts one is going to be the unboxing Two is going to be the setup, and three will be the usage and final review. So this is what I received in the mail, and it's, you know, fairly bulky. And uh, let's open it up, and as you can see, I absolutely have not opened this at all, so this is going to be a uh, completely new unboxing to myself as well. Um, love getting packages in the mail. Uh, especially cool spy tech gadgets. Now, for me, I am not a private investigator. Uh, I run a collection agency, so this isn't going to be used for any private investigator activities. But it's you know it's a good way to track your vehicle. It's a good way to, especially for some of the older model ve uh, model vehicles, and it's a good way to track if someone's borrowing your vehicle or anything like that. So I'm sure you can use your imagination. So we have here a charging cord. And this is, it looks like it's the right one for uh, um, for the Optimus. And by the way, this is, I'll also link this in the description. This is the Optimus 2.0 GL300MA model, or there's also another model number, S2M4438. So, and I, I think I might have done this in another review. If I haven't, I'll be sure to do one, but uh, it fits this model. It might fit other models as well. So we have the charging cord and I mean, the whole purpose of this is it's a solar powered case, so you can put it, now if it's on a vehicle, it probably wouldn't be put in plain view, uh, but maybe a boat or a truck or something like that. And it's also um, battery operated, so it should have a battery charger in here, and that will, once you have your unit fully charged, you can also plug it into the charger. So that might double or triple the battery life of it, which if you're using a GPS tracker, that's going to help you out significantly. So let's see, then we have this unit. They did wrap it pretty well, so that's good. I use these scissors to cut it open and hope that I do it well because I don't have a good history with scissors and opening packages and such. All right, so this, it's not, uh, I can tell right away as I'm taking it out here, it's not made cheaply uh definitely good quality at least appears to be and wow this is there we go um so let's see here let me just adjust the camera slightly here oops that's not doing it hold on one moment all right i just want to make sure we can see the unit that's holding it here so this is obviously the solar powered part and here's the magnetic part on the back um, I have never used one of these, so uh, this is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. Uh, but again, but I guess if it's placed on the bottom of the vehicle, then you should do just fine. Now, upon inspection, I do see some, what might look like, I don't know if the camera can get it, might look like some glue here and up here. And it might not be glue, it might be. So it just, that gives me a little pause on uh how well this will this will stay in it but then again it's it appears pretty firm in there so i don't know it's just i wanted to point that out so i'm gonna see if i can open this up and be embarrassing if i can't all right there we go so this just goes upwards and then uh look at that we have um it says real-time GPS micro trackers as low as $10 a month. That's actually pretty good. That might be something to look into because I am paying $20 a month for the Optimus here. Um, and it's not, the cost isn't bad, but 
you know, it's still another bill. So if I can get that down with a, with a quality product, that might be something to look into. It looks like there's a, a USB adapter here uh, for the, uh, you know, for the GPS unit. And I'll get to the case in a minute. Let's see, we're gonna put this down. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, that was not right. Okay, so inadvertently, I have now tested the magnet on my computer. Luckily, it's not the monitor and then it's just on the case. But yeah, that's uh, that'll be in the second video. But that is strong. That was, uh, it just went down there hard. So these magnets are definitely strong. Um, and I feel like an idiot. But uh, so with the case, this is, it feels like plastic, but it's like hard plastic. And then uh, you have this coming out of it right here for the charging part. And I haven't read the instructions yet. So we're gonna put this where I'm not gonna damage my equipment. There we go. Uh, we have the battery pack right here. Let me get this out. Okay, so this part would go into the uh, charger here. Um, where is it? Yeah, it would go into the side here on the charger. And then you have the... Uh, Alright, I'm just going to look at the instructions and sound like more of an idiot or I don't know what I'm talking about here. But this is a uh, LI Ion Polymer Battery 3.7 volt. Uh, it looks like 10,000 mAh. So, there you go. And does it come with instructions? Uh, we have here in the package, let's see here, 10% off your next online purchase. Uh, sorry, I forgot to remember to hold this up and not just look at it, but uh, you get that. Micro portable GPS tracker, weatherproof magnetic case, extended four month battery and magnetic case, solar panel uh, battery case, GPS tracking software. It says the live GPS tracking software as low as 18 a month. This might be for, yeah, this looks like it's more a brochure for other products and it's not uh, something, for instructions for the actual product. I was hoping to see that. I'm just gonna, just in case we get a little sticker here um, and a contact card for the company. And I'll put that information in the description as well. So I was hoping to see instructions on the unit and that's kind of the problem that when you order these products online, you, especially if they're like any kind of spy tech or, um, you know, any, any type of products like that, it doesn't usually come with instructions and that's unfortunate. So, uh, I'm going to conclude this video right here and as part one. And uh, I'll make other videos. We're already on eight minutes, so I'll make other videos, part two and part three. Uh, but overall, I like what I see. Instructions would have been nice. Um, or a, and I could have missed it, so I don't want to uh, say that I, it's not in here. But instructions or a link to a website that might give instructions with it, that would be ideal. And I didn't see that. Um, however, I will look a little more closely on video number two. So thank you for joining me and I'll put the link in the description to what I mentioned and check out the second video on uh, its actual usage. All right. Hope everyone has a great one. Please, if you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button and like video, the like uh, button as well. Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well. This is part two of the Spy Spot um, case we have here. This is the solar panel case and it has magnetic on the back and it has a it comes with an extended battery pack that you can really extend the life of your uh of your charger now this uh to reiterate this is a sponsored product uh this was sent to me by david the owner of spy spot very generously i appreciate that and i have the uh i'll put in a link to it it's an amazon affiliate link i'll put that in the description i also will put in the description the link to the product that i use Mistakenly, my last video, I think I said it was 50 and it's actually $30 for the GPS tracking unit. I'm not sure you have to use that one. I think you can use a number of ones, but the one I had was about $30 and then $20 a month, which a little pricey. But uh, anyway, I wanted to do a video on this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix it to my vehicle and then I'm going to take a 20 minute drive or so um, to uh, one place and then come back here. And it's not going to be off road, but 
It'll be a few bumps and maybe a couple of speed bumps this, along the way. I'll do carefully, of course, but um, I wanted to just give it a little test. So I've examined this vehicle here. It's a sports utility vehicle. I don't want to get into the make and model, but it's a sports utility vehicle. And I've looked for some different places to place this. And I found some places that will stick, but not to a level that I feel comfortable with that I'm not going to use, lose the unit. Uh, and I'm going to flip the camera around here and show you where I did decide to go with. Um, keep in mind, I'm not a private investigator. I'm a debt collector. So I have zero experience with this whatsoever, but I figured this would be a good thing for uh, maybe a new driver borrowing my vehicle or uh, an older relative that uh, we want to make sure that person is safe and with their consent, of course, um, and putting it on their vehicle. So I spoke to a couple of private investigators on the best place to put this and I got some uh, general ideas. Um, a couple of them said by the wheel well on the part that's really, there's a back end part of it that sticks a little bit, but I don't trust it in driving. I think the first bump, it would go flying off. And then there's one part of it that's really, um, that I can really get on there. So I'm gonna turn the camera around here and I always have trouble turning this thing around. Okay, there we go. I had to just do a new quick video, but I'm gonna turn this around. So this part right here, it sticks, but you can see I can just get it off easily with two fingers. It doesn't stick well, but there's this part back here. And I keep saying part, forgive me. I just, I'm not a car guy. So this part right here, and you, you just heard that, that went on. I kind of want to move it up a little bit from the tire, but you, uh, yeah, you heard that. That went on pretty well. So what I'm going to do is, ow. <laughs> yep. Okay. Okay. I want to try to just position it. So uh, without getting my fingers in the way. So yeah, there's that. Um, I guess I can move it up a little more up, but then it starts to get to the groove. So that is on there pretty pretty firmly. It's not touching the tire. Yeah, I mean, that's on there pretty firmly. I think we're just gonna go with that and hope it fares well. Little piece of news here. Uh, the unit survived, and I think maybe, like I said, I'm just an amateur at this, so maybe I didn't place it in the right spot, but uh, if you see right here, uh, now this was maybe an inch away from the tire, inch to an inch and a half, and you can see that in the previous video uh, where I put it, but it looks like this was filed down or scraped down into here, and see this part of the plastic that comes up. So I'm wondering if maybe perhaps this was a rock from the tire or something that uh, before the rock went loose, it scraped into this thing, uh, smoothed out, and pushed the plastic this way. Uh, that's what I'm thinking, but I don't know for sure. I would assume if the tire actually hit it with the speed of the tire, it would probably, if it hit it good, it would probably just remove the unit completely. So I'm thinking that was maybe, maybe a rock or something from the tire that continually hit it before the rock got loose. So I think I might have to place it somewhere else uh, on my way back. Okay, so I'm going to take another look at the GPS I just got back home. And here we go. Uh, this one looks like it has not been damaged. And it's probably because this time around when I got to my destination, I uh, I showed you how it was and I, then I turned it around horizontally. So almost all the magnets are touching it, but not completely. So I'm gonna take this off and we'll take a look at it. Um, yep, I see no damage now at all, other than the damage that was initially caused, which was where was that here uh yeah right here so on that i see no damage so that's that's good i guess horizontal is the way to go um see if i can switch this around no okay so this is the last part of the video and i just wanted to give my final impressions this is the spy spot uh case that has the solar on top of it which unfortunately in this video i did not get to try um it's just it hasn't been sunny out right now while i'm doing this and it doesn't look like it's gonna be sunny for the rest of the week so i didn't get a chance to do the solar i did do the charging of the actual unit and i did this to fix to my car and you saw that in the other parts of this video uh how that turned out so apparently i just speak to the owner and apparently the uh, the instructions are on the website. I would suggest having the instruction bullet, uh, or rather, instruction. Um, 
what's the word? <laughs> booklet, sorry. Uh, an instruction booklet inside of the package and then maybe directing to the website for further instruction and maybe a few videos would be cool too. So I haven't checked that out yet, so I don't want to judge that too harshly if it's on the website or not or what instructions are there, but I like it. Um, is it something that I would necessarily get for myself? Well, again, I'm not a private investigator, so I'm not going to be putting this on someone's car without their permission. Different states have different laws, but that's not something I'm begin going to be doing if it was putting it in for uh, for an older relative or something, just to make sure he's okay. Uh, I would have that person's permission and I put it in their vehicle, something like that. So um, I like the unit. I probably wouldn't be getting the box, but uh, the actual case for it, but I do think it's quality and I do like what they have to offer. I'm excited to check out maybe some of other uh, the other products for Spy Spot. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. I will put the links in the description and I hope everyone has a great rest of the day.